Hi, how are you? It's Aiko with Shua Girl. Uh, so this is day four of my 17 day Facebook Live challenge where I answer all the like a pronunciation questions. Okay, so I'm gonna answer two questions today. Okay, so by the way, thank you very much for attending live. If you're watching this replay, thank you very much. And if you don't have a Facebook account, don't worry. I'm going to download this video um, into my YouTube channel, Shua Girl, so you can check it out there. And if you have any, any questions, please comment below. Okay, so first question is, like, what's the difference between jam and gem pronunciation wise so the first word is j a m jam you know the you know the jam that you put on the bread the sweet stuff usually strawberry like a strawberry jam and the second one is g e m gem so it's like little stones you know gem stores um, you know all that if you're like jewelry uh, you know you probably know you, you probably use the word gem a lot there is like a gem convention or something that I've been to in LA and then there are so many gems there so J uh, I'm sorry G E M gem so what's the difference between the two words pronunciation voice so it's actually pretty similar so J A M is jam, jam. G E M is gem, gem. The consonants are the same. Starts with j, j. It's the same, right? And it ends with m, m, m consonant. So you know, starting consonant and ending consonant are the same in two words but the vowels are different so j a m is a a the vowel is a a it's like between a and a and j g e m is a a so one more time, J A M is a a. G E M is a a. So, if you are a Japanese speaker, you probably have a e u e o, right? A u e o, right? Five uh, five vowels. So these J A M a and G M E, these are not in the five vowels here, so it's uh, G E M E E is kind of close to like I U E O E E, but very it, these are similar but a little different. Please listen to my pronunciation. So if it's Japanese E, I U E E E. E, right and the English e is e e e so um, the mouth opens a little more it's not really about the mouth shape because inside of it's really about like how you um, create the vibration inside of your mouth it's not the mouth shape but it helps if you open your mouth just a little bit um, and then say e e E. So that's G E M, E, E, not I U E, 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 E is like really, mm, you you closing your mouth more, right? So you want to have like wider sound, E, E, and then J A M. It's between A and E, so you want to add a little A to it. So it's E, E. How is it? This is actually really difficult for many speakers. Um, Japanese speakers tend to say this sound with a, uh, a, uh, and it becomes the schwa sound to native speakers. So 
you really want to be careful. You want to be aware of the sound difference. If it's Japanese a, uh, it's like a aiue a a a a. This is a, uh, right? Japanese a uh, a. Uh. But this j the vowel in j a m is a、eh, a.、Eh. Very different. These two are very very different. So you want to make sure that you get like a.、Eh, Sound a、uh, and e,、uh, like it's really between a、uh, and e.、Uh. So if you look at the vowel chart, e、uh, is actually between a、uh, and e.、Uh. You can see it, right? So you want to、um, make sure that the it, the sound is between a、uh, and e.、Uh. It's sometimes it's hard because a lot of language have only five vowels, right? Usually five vowel system. Some of them three vowel system, but、um, a lot of languages have five vowels. And these five vowels, like each sound, is so different from each other. Because if you look at the vowel chart, the five vowels are going like around the corner, right? So it's far from each other. But if you take a look at the、um, American English vowel chart, you're gonna see like so many vowels very close to each other. So you want to like to be able to nail English pronunciation. You want to work on your vowels really well. Consonants are important, but vowels are more important, and vowels are more complicated in English. And it's not about the the length or the strength. It's about the variety, different sounds, different vowel sounds in American English. So these are pretty complicated. Each sound is kind of similar to something else, so you really want to train your ear, and you want to start hearing the differences between different, you know, different vowels. So that's something that you can work on. So let's practice J A M. So repeat after me. Jam. 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 And next one, G E M. Jam. Gem, gem. How is it? Please let me know if you have any questions, and please let me know how it goes. Okay. So the next question is, how do you pronounce animal? This is very different. If you speak Japanese, in Japanese it's animal, right? Animal, like animal. Right, so four sounds. But in English, American English, it's animal, animal. First off, three sounds: a, n, m, a, n, m. Three sounds. So you want to make sure that you get three syllables, not four syllables, not animal. It's animal. And the vowel. The first vowel is between I and N. There you go. It's the same as J A M, jam, a, a. So animal, animal. Same as apple, apple, right? Apple, animal, animal. So it's between I and N. So you want to get that vowel really well, like very strongly at the beginning. So it's animal, animal. And also, you got two vowels after that, right? These are the schwa, so you pronounce it, uh, uh, uh. So it's a n m o, a n m o. So you want to connect everything together, animal, animal. And then it's got l at the end. This is kind of hard because sometimes, like,、um, people have a hard time pronouncing L at the end, and the tongue gets tense, and then it becomes R sound is instead. So what you want to do is you want to relax your tongue completely, make it straight, but move it to the alveolar ridge, which is just above your upper teeth. You know where the hard palate is. That is called alveolar ridge. So you want to bring your tongue straight, tongue right, straight, and then move it to the alveolar alveolar ridge, and then say, 
or 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 and then you want to have um, your lips really relaxed so or 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 the whole face is relaxed especially your tongue the, your tongue needs to be relaxed or or an animal animal okay so how is it please let me know how it goes okay so thank you very much for your questions and uh, day five tomorrow I am gonna answer two more questions so if you have any questions please comment here or on Twitter or on YouTube thank you okay so if you want to learn the pronunciation from me you have few options uh, the first one is 12 week pronunciation group course and the fourth term is starting on August 27th I'm working on uh, three people are taking the third term intensive group course right now and they are improving a lot so you are next so if you are interested in it I have Muryo Setsume Kai today and tomorrow and next week Saturday so uh, you can find the link here in the description box and then also I got so many questions about intonation so I decided to do a free workshop where I share three points to improve your pronunciation in English so that's gonna be on August 16th at 2 p.m. in Hawaii so that would be 5 p.m. on the west coast time in the US on the mainland if you're in the central uh, standard time it's gonna be 7 o'clock east coast time 8 o'clock so I'm gonna put the link here and I think intonation is really really important when it comes to getting your int uh, getting your pronunciation really natural and it's it plays a huge role in your pronunciation because if you work on your intonation if you make it natural then you know it'll be easy to understand your pronunciation even though you don't get some consonants or vowels still it's gonna be easy to understand your pronunciation so it's very important to learn pronunciation um, to learn intonations so I will share three tips in this workshop uh, so I will put the link here also and if you like this video please share it with other English learners and give me a thumbs up Alright, so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!